Greetings and salutations, my name is Domingo Martinez and today I'm going to show you how to manipulate and control two DC motors with an IR remote. Okay, so I already have the schematic set up for you. So I've already done all the wiring and I've provided a code for you as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over that so that way you know how I created it and how to utilize it yourself. Okay, so the first thing I did was, well, let me show you how to how this works here. So if I let's represent this button as forward. So it's going to move your DC motors or your robot forward. This is going to move your robot backward. This is going to move your robot right. And this is going to move your robot left. And notice for each of those buttons that I click, right, your serial monitor is printing out your hexadecimal values associated with each of those buttons. So for instance, this is, represents your forward. This represents your right, this is your backward, and this is your left. Okay, so let's look at that again, right? Forward, start simulation. So forward, right, we're gonna move two DC motors counter or clockwise. So this is moving clockwise, this is moving clockwise as well, and you can tell from the negative RPM. So if you want to have uh, some sort of vehicle that you're driving and it's being controlled by the two back wheels, right? If you click on this button, this is going to move it forward. If you click on this button, it's going to move it backwards. And you can tell it's backward because both the RPMs are positive. Uh, if you click right, you'll notice one of the DC motors has a negative RPM. So this is clockwise and the other one is going to be counterclockwise. Right, which provides a positive RPM. And the opposite is true for left. And if I click any other button, for instance, the center button, it's just going to stop. Okay. And that's because of the ALSIA statements that I provided here. Okay. So you could see if we select this hexadecimal value, which was generated when we press the button, if we select that hexadecimal value, it's gonna enact or enable this function here. So that function represents forward. This is gonna represent rights. So let's go ahead and type that. I'm gonna stop simulation. Let me go ahead and add my comments here. We'll say forward. This is gonna move it right. This will move it backward. and just move it left. Okay, so that's what's going on here. And you can tell that this function down here represents um, the DC motors. So motor one A, motor one B. So that is the first motor. So if this one is one and this one is zero, so let's see what happens when the first one is one and this one is zero it moves clockwise, okay? So if this is one and this value is zero, it's gonna move clockwise. So this whole motor moves clockwise. However, if you invert it, it's gonna move counterclockwise. And the same goes for the second motor here. If this is one and this is zero, it's gonna move clockwise. If you invert it, it's gonna move counterclockwise. Okay, so that's what, that's what this function is being represented here. Okay, so that's how you move forward, right, back, left, and otherwise don't move at all. Okay, so this is your stop. So any other button you press, it's going to stop. All right, so to get the code for your IR remote, all I simply did was I went to the Arduino IDE. So if you have Arduino, if you've ever used Arduino, you know you need the, IAD, the IDE to actually make it work. So you can get this from the Arduino website. You can simply download it. But what I did was I went to Examples, IR Remote, and I selected the IR Receive Demo. And from there, anything above my void setup here, I just simply copied and pasted. Anything inside your void setup, simply copy, paste. And then anything within the void loop, copy, paste it in your void loop. Okay, so once you do that, uh, you could start printing out hexadecimal values. And based on those hexadecimal values, so like for instance, if you wanted 
2 to represent forward, right, you would use this hexadecimal value instead of the one I provided here. And each IR remote is going to be different. Each IR sensor is going to be different. So when you're testing this out, make sure you print those values first before you start uh, programming it, before you start uh, deciding which DC motor to control. Well, there you go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and provide the link to this Tinkercad tutorial within the, within the comments section. So make sure if you want to go ahead and utilize it, feel free to do so. And please subscribe. Thank you.